Did you ever have a situation where you wished you did a better job at something or you wish you approached a situation a little bit differently and get, really gave it your all? I want to share a story with you about Rav Saadia Gaon, who lived about a thousand years ago and was the Gadol Hador of his generation. He was the Torah giant of his generation. This story was given by Rabbi Tin Esther Bela Schwartz and I want, I want to relate it to you, give it over to you. Once Rav Saadia Gaon was traveling and stopped by an inn. The innkeeper greeted him very warmly as he did his all his other guests. And he greeted him and all his staff was very, very accommodating. And this inn was really known for being truly, truly hospitable and giving like a five-star hotel. It gave everything. And all the clients came out of the inn always extremely satisfied and happy. The linens were crisp. The people were warm and accommodating. The food was delicious and everything was just right. So after he left the inn, Rav Sa'ad Yaga'on, the neighbor of the innkeeper saw Rav Sa'ad Yaga'on leave and he approached the innkeeper and said, what gave you the merit of hosting Rav Sa'ad Yaga'on in your inn? And the innkeeper was so confused. He was perplexed. He was so surprised that obviously he hosted a very special guest. He said, I just hosted Rav Saad Gaon. If I only knew it was him, how I would have done things differently. And his neighbor said, well, was something wrong? Was he at least in any way dissatisfied? He said, no, of course not. We actually accommodated him perfectly and just fine. But had I known it was him, how I would have done so much more. So what did he do? He dropped everything. He he um, went on his horse and he had his horses gallop quickly, quickly to Rav Sadia Gaon and his entourage. And he stopped and he said, he, he stopped his horses. He quickly ran to him and said, and dropped at his feet. He said, Moy help me, please, please forgive me, Rav Saadia Gaon. I really didn't know that I hosted you. Please, please forgive me. And Rav Saadia Gaon was really baffled, confused. He said, everything was just fine. Everything was perfect. Thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you so much for accommodating us. And the innkeeper said, I'm so sorry, but if I had known it was you, who was at my inn, how I would have done things extraordinary. I would have done things so differently. And from this situation, the rabbi, Rav Sa'ad Yaga'on, made teshuvah. He repented to Hashem, to Hashem our God. He said, Hashem, if I only knew, knew, today, knew yesterday, the Torah I know today, you know, every day he was learning more and more, how would, I would have done things differently. I would, I'd have, I would have served you in a different way. So it was so, so, uh, such an inspirational story. It was such a touching moment. And he did teshuva. He repented at this moment. So I share this story with you in order to inspire us to understand the holiday of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is a holiday where we crown Hashem as king we truly understand that all our history as the Jewish people and the life that we lead today is all under the supervision and the omnipotence of Hashem our God. We have to crown Him as our King, appreciate what we have, and also understand our past. And going forward with this, crown Him as King, that He's truly the source of everything we have, we did, we didn't do everything that happened. So as you commemorate the holiday of Rosh Hashanah, as you eat and you feast and you eat the symbolic foods that are um, uh, represented by Rosh Hashanah, the pomegranate, the honey, the apples, remember to pray, to ask Hashem, Hashem, everything that I have and everything that I don't have, Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem, for my cup of coffee, my hot cup of coffee. 
for my very comfortable bed, for my very comfortable, accommodating life, for spoiling me. Everything that I have, Hashem, even though if it's undeserved, even if, if you're spoiling me, please give this to me as a free gift for next year as well. It's very important to pray like this. We, so, we show Hashem that we're humble, that we know that nothing is coming to us and everything in life is a gift. May you and your loved ones be written in the book of life and may you have a successful, meaningful year this next year. Leia Abramov, Being and Becoming.